Hello my friend and welcome back. Uh, long time no see. I haven't posted since July and now it's November. <laughs> and please do not mind like my fingers like at work, my nails get really brittle and I've just been trying to use this match to make it all aesthetic and put on this candle but it just it just wasn't working. <laughs> so Anyways, I wanted to sit down with you just to have like a little casual drawing session. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm still having trouble trying to like sketch hair right now. I was having like a really hard time <laughs> drawing this girl because the angle is just so strange. Um, since it's not exactly um, a profile like this, it's like a profile but at, like a weird angle where you kind of see their cheekbones but kind of not. So if I like draw anything too detailed, it looks kind of weird and then like it's too defined and you know, if you get it, you get it. <laughs> so I've just been kind of struggling with hair at the moment so I kind of wanted to practice and have fun with it especially since I haven't had the best relationship with my art lately. I would say it's just been so stressful because I have this weird pressure of like trying to create a masterpiece and that's not gonna happen <laughs> and that's okay um we have to have our ugly drawings once in a while i've noticed recently that i've been sitting down to draw because i want to draw i have like this creative energy to do it but i just when i sit down to it i get so stressed and i just feel like my body is just so stressed when doing something that i used to be something that's therapeutic so I'm still kind of training my body to kind of like see this as like a safe space for just me to be me and just show up <laughs> as I am and just not worry about it being, you know, famous or like the best thing in the world, but like the best thing that I can create now and the emphasis on having fun, <laughs> which is kind of what I've been missing. So that's kind of the goal right now. So I hope you can join me or just, you know, sit back and relax, uh, grab a cup of tea. I have a, what am I drinking? <laughs> I drink this like every day. Um, I'm drinking this chamomile citrus tea uh, from Mighty Leaf. I'm not a quite a big fan of Mighty Leaf, but I really like this chamomile tea. So it's kind of nice. And I have with me a candle burning. The previous day I had um, the over the garden wall candle which had like scents of like cedar, falling leaves and cinnamon and apples and that was just the perfect fall scent. It's like when the rain falls and it clears and you're just in the clear air with the woods and you just smell of falling leaves. But this one is, is based on the show over the garden wall and this one is called Beatrice and it has uh, graham crackers, smells with uh, blueberry, brown sugar, and that's just perfect right now. And I just wanted something sweet and comforting. I've been really soaking up the autumn season this year. And it's just been September and October, of course, as a Libra, has been truly, truly magical. But now that it's November, um, the magic is a little wearing away just a little bit. and. Honestly, you guys, the with the Scorpio season and the lunar eclipse going on, I just I am not a big fan, <laughs> but I feel like it's really well needed. I literally sent out like a newsletter in October saying how I'm so productive because I really was like, you know, I was really feeling it. But now I kind of burnt myself out and I'm kind of seeing what works and what doesn't. And it's been kind of frustrating trying things and just not working, but I'm kind of realizing now that it's just part of the process and if I don't try, I won't know and it's just, it's fine if it doesn't work. I'm still trying to figure things out, what works for me and that's okay and I know I'm stuck. I'm in this weird unsettled place of like, uh, it's so hard to explain but basically all these emotions that I'm feeling uh, that I just didn't want to face about like, myself my art and uh, i won't go too much into detail but it's just um i've been really called to go inward so i have and i've just been letting myself have that space to just feel and just um be uncomfortable and just 
have mental breakdowns, <laughs> which I don't, doesn't sound healthy, but I swear it's, <laughs> it sounds better than it is. I felt like it really did help to um, give myself that space and that permission to just kind of like have that tantrum because I really am frustrated um, where I am and like just, uh, I'm just trying to tell myself that it's okay to um, feel how I feel and whatever I need to do to move forward is okay. <laughs> a little better than I thought it would. <laughs> I wasn't too attached to the form of my hair and I just kind of went with the flow and even though some parts just weren't perfect and I felt like I didn't really um, give the best contrast to things as I would have liked to, I'm still pretty proud of it. I'm still trying to figure out how to make my sketches look a little more clear and like being a little more intentional with my shadows. I tend to like over darken things and then like the contracts gets kind of lost. It's just such a tricky line doing hair because at one point it's like you want to be accurate but at the same time there's so much more creative freedom and how you perceive the hair. So I'm kind of trying to learn how to embrace my style but also like being as clear and accurate as possible, if that makes sense. <laughs> and if you're having a lot of stress and pressure of drawing, like like I did, especially if you're kind of pursuing a creative field, I think this is a really helpful way to kind of like sit down. Maybe you're also kind of like feeling anxious or you know feeling like this flight or flight um, whenever you sit down to do uh, to draw or create or anything like that. So I think like breaking it down to like you know doing one small thing and focusing on that and like creating like a really like relaxing space will be really really helpful and next time i think i want to try painting this um i want to try to transfer this into um my watercolor paper like which is in this uh, traveler's notebook here maybe i'll show you guys one of these days and um try to paint my lovely lovely neighbor who um I make juice with and just hang out once in a while. He bought me um, some watercolor paints 
um, some paintbrushes and he recently just got me um, watercolor uh, the watercolor tubes and a plastic palette and I'm really really excited to use that Ooh, I'm so excited it's been so I am due for an upgrade for my uh, supplies right now so I'm very very grateful for him and I'm so excited to try it out it's starting to get really really dark now so <laughs> I kind of like this mood thing going on here and thank you so much for joining me uh, whether you were sketching with me or if you were like reading or just like relaxing and vegging after like a hard days of work or something uh, thank you so much and i really hope you enjoyed this little casual sketchbook session let me know what you think about it take care of yourself and i will see you in the next video